going on, T. Haynes? Well, it's been a few weeks since we did some videos, man. So it's, it's about that time again. Basketball season going strong with the uh, NBA Finals. But uh, this, this video is about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And I had a few debates, you know, barbershop and Twitter and everywhere else about Kareem being the GOAT. Now, there's two GOATs to me, Kareem and, and Michael Jordan. You can argue Michael Jordan is the GOAT of the NBA. I would argue Kareem is the GOAT of basketball, period. And to me, uh, it's not even close. And it's not Jordan's fault. You can say Jordan is the best NBA player if you want to. That's a good debate. Even though Kareem, you could put all of his stats up, MVP, championships, he's the only player, and there's a picture online you can pull up, and they have everything side by side in regard to Kareem and Mike. And they match up perfectly, or you could say Kareem had a slight age. I know it's not sexy to say it, but Kareem is possibly uh, better in terms of resume than Jordan in the NBA. And I'm not talking about marketing and all that stuff. Okay, we can get to some of the social impact another time. But the GOAT basketball player to me is Kareem. And the funny thing is, Isaiah Thomas, uh, Zeke from the Pistons, is my favorite basketball player of all time. And he was on Undisputed, Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp show on Fox uh, Sports 1. And when he talked about Kareem, somebody in the crowd said, uh-oh, a little bit. He's like, no, no, no. My, my accomplishments speak for itself. I got love for uh, um, Jordan and everybody else, but he was like, Kareem is the GOAT basketball player. <clears throat> and if you do the research on your Kareem, Kareem won 71 games in high school and lost like one game. Kareem lost like one game in three years at UCLA and won three national championships. He would have won four, but freshmen couldn't play on the varsity uh, back then. So pretty much every year he played in the NCAA, he won a national championship. And every year in college, he, I mean in high school, excuse me, he, he didn't lose a game basically, except one. Got to the NBA, Milwaukee Bucks won a uh, championship with Oscar Robinson. Dominated the NBA, along with some other greats like Will, some of them on the West door. And he was killing those guys, having like 30 points, 20 rebounds, whatever the case may be. Going to the 80s, he goes to the Lakers, he went several more uh, top titles. Imagine. Pretty much his last year in the NBA, 40 year old center, still like a, playing like all star level. <laughs> and, and Zeke was talking about how they were still double teaming him at 40 years old. You know, he's the all time leading scorer. He's the greatest college player of all time, the greatest high school player of all time. And what do you know? People still want to uh, discredit this man. Now, of course, Kareem is on the Mount Rushmore of basketball. We know that. You know, it's Kareem, Mike, and pick two other people. But you could argue that Kareem is the GOAT basketball player, the most unstoppable move in basketball. This is not far fetched what I'm talking about. Then you add in the social activism that he did as a college guy. Amazing. You know, I always spoke out about Richard Justice when it wasn't popular. But that's for another uh, blog as well at some point talking about black uh, athletes and uh, responsibility. Because with great rewards, there is great responsibility. But as far as Kareem, don't think it's not uh, legitimate to say he's the GOAT basketball player. I know it's, it's cliche to always use Michael Jordan. And that's fine. But I, I said this years ago. I said, man, you know, Michael Jordan the best shooting guard of all time. I said, but you can argue that Kareem is the best player, most accomplished, everything. But anyway, what do you guys think, man? What do you rank Kareem? I would say for those who don't know much about Kareem outside of the old ball head dude you see uh, 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 playing with Magic at the end of his career, oh, that wasn't just the, uh, the Kareem of the ball you need to know about. Lou Alcindor was one of the most athletic centers of all time. He could run that floor. He could, man, he could do everything. He was a gazelle. He used to play in a rucker and everything. I mean, the dude did it all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, do, do the research on Kareem, man, before you just uh, exclude him from GOAT conversation. You know, don't act like Michael Jordan is just an undisputed GOAT. I'm a Michael Jordan fan. The Bulls are my favorite team still. You know, Isaiah my favorite player, but it was just something about watching the Bulls as well. I watched the Bulls and the Pistons all the time. I took a liking Isaiah, wanted to play like him. But, 
you know, the Bulls my squad. So it's, this is no hate. Jordan's my uh, second favorite player. A lot of people don't know that. You know, Jordan is my second favorite player behind Isaiah Thomas. And then I got a few other players, uh, LSU, Chris Jackson, you know, uh, like Grant Hill, a couple other guys. But, yeah, Mike is not the undisputed GOAT. He got to split that with, the, with uh, uh, you know, with Jabbar. But anyway, I'll holler.